So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do rotation scales in Premiere Pro. So to get started have your two clips ready and what we are going to do is add a scale to the first clip. So I'm going to head to the start and set the keyframe to something like 150. I'm going to head about 15 keyframes ahead and then set it back to 100 or 110 so that's what I'm going to do. Next up I'm going to click on this arrow which will bring down this graph and what I'm going to do is click on the last keyframe and then pull this handle to the left making sure that it's on the same level as the bar next to it i've already done this a lot of times in the past don't pull it all the way to the left you just want to have it to the middle so somewhere around here and once you let go your graph should look like this now head towards the end of the clip but one keyframe back so around here and you want to set the scale to 180 zoom in onto the keyframe and what we want to do is click the second keyframe and you want to just click on this handle and drag it to the right let go and what we want to do is do the same with this one as well but don't pull it too far just around here next up you want to head back to the start you want to keyframe the rotation and set it to four head to the frame where we added the keyframe of the scale and what we want to do is set it to zero now repeat the process with rotation so i'm just going to click on the handle and pull it to the left head over to the end and then one keyframe back and set this to around negative 10. zoom in and do the exact same thing so pull it to the right pull this handle slightly to the right as well just like that and let go moving on to the second clip you want to keyframe it and set it to 110 head towards the end of the clip so mine's about 15 keyframes ahead so one two three and i'm going to set it to something like 140 we're going to do the same thing so once again click on the arrow and then pull the bar to the left next up you want to keyframe the rotation and set it to negative three head towards the end and set it to negative 12 graph it once again pull the handle and let go and now if we do play it back as you can see we've created a rotation scale now this is optional but if you want to you can add an adjustment layer on top of your first clip trim it down to around three frames and add the transform effect tick the uniform scale box keyframe and scale it to 150 and you want to head towards the end and then one keyframe back so not literally towards the end just one keyframe back and reset it to 100 and you want to do the same thing with the graph pull the handle let go and what this does is improve the scale so now it's a little bit more impactful as you can see before it did not look that good as you can see it looks really dull but anyways yeah that's all you need to do so thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace